Considering that he's been an underdog on every level, Deontay has had to work his tail off to get to this point, and I think it's why he's quickly becoming one of the best young wide receivers in football. At the 41, and a deep ball it is! The man is there! And it is caught! What a catch! Out of good old Ruskin, Florida, Deontay was able to produce at Earl J. Leonard High. Even though he was able to do his thing, the fact that he went to a pretty small school and was undersized made it really tough to get recruited by big team schools. Even though he was in a state full of solid programs, Deontay only got offers from small D1s a few hundred miles away. Schools like Toledo, Alcorn, and Ball State were some of the only offers that my man got. So as you could probably guess, it wasn't all that tough of a decision as Deontay decided to take a trip to Ohio by committing to the Toledo Rockets. Although Toledo isn't the creme de la creme of college football, Deontay still wasn't able to do his thing immediately. As a freshman, he had just over 200 yards and 3 touchdowns on only 14 catches. And so just like most college athletes, Deontay started off a bit slow with the Rockets. And so going into the following season, as you could guess, he wanted to prove that he could produce. But rough enough had to sit down a year because of an injury. Anyways, even though he had to sit on the sidelines, Deontay was able to use the rehab as fuel for what was a really good sophomore season. Considering his freshman production, his game was on a whole nother universe in his second year as he had nearly 1300 yards and 13 touchdowns and upon that was first team all conference. The level of production was ridiculous and as you could guess a bit tough to keep up the following season. I mean over 750 yards and 8 touchdowns is far from bad but a bit of a drop off from his sophomore production. Even then he was still a top 15 receiver prospect out of college when he declared for the NFL draft with studs like Debo Samuel, AJ Brown, and DK all ranked ahead of him. But even though he was likely a 5th or 6th round prospect, my man only went 2 picks below DK at the start of the 3rd round. Funny enough, the pick that they used to get Deontay was originally acquired in the Antonio Brown Raiders trade and was a big reason as to why he went to the Steel City in the first place. But nonetheless, my man Deontay was joining a bit of an underwhelming receiving core outside of guys like Juju and James Washington and it allowed Deontay to do his thing sooner than when he was at Toledo. As only a rookie, my man was able to have nearly 700 yards and 5 touchdowns and upon that was named second team all pro as one of the best punt returners in the league. Not too bad of a start for someone who went to Toledo, but it was only the beginning. Although he was coming off a solid rookie season, Deontay wanted to take his production up a notch in his second year and was able to do just that with over 900 yards and 7 touchdowns as he was quickly able to become the wide receiver 1 in only his sophomore season. Even though he was able to put up great numbers, Deontay had yet to have made much of a name for himself in the football world, although I doubt he really cared. But either way, going into his third year with the team, and even with the new pickup and Chase Claypool looking to take some real estate of the offense, Deontay nonetheless wanted to solidify himself as one of the best receivers in football. And I would say over 1100 yards and 8 touchdowns did that pretty well, and upon that helped Deontay get his name out there as he was able to make the Pro Bowl and place the absolute stud in Jamar Chase. But no matter the case, in only 3 years Deontay had already proven himself as one of the best young talents in football. And so now looking ahead, it seems like he has potential to become one of the best wideouts in the league. Pretty good timing for someone who is going into the last year of the contract, because if my man is able to play as good or better than his third year, then I would say he's in for a massive payday. Maybe not Tyreek or Devontae numbers, but I don't think Deontay is all that far off. Right now it seems like my man and the Steelers are in the middle of extension slash contract talks and I'm sure a lot of that is tied to all the recent signings across the league. And that same idea has caused many to speculate that the fact that he hasn't participated in the Steelers voluntary offseason programs is due to all of this. But as Deontay would say, don't believe everything that you see. It doesn't necessarily mean that the speculation is without some grounds, but I think what he's trying to get at is that there's more to the situation than what it seems. Considering that Deontay is eligible for an extension because he's going into the fourth year of his rookie contract, there is definitely potential that there are disputes about how much he should get but I doubt it's going to lead to him leaving unless things go haywire. But what makes this situation much more interesting is the fact that the team just drafted Georgia standout George Pickens, and so his play could likely have a big impact on whether or not Deontay is able to get a massive extension. And although George is a massive question mark due to his injury history and whatever this is, many still speculate that he could have a higher ceiling than Deontay. But honestly, it just has to be proven on the football field. As of right now, it seems like Deontay could be in for a great statistical season due to the departures of guys like Juju, James, and Ray Ray. But since studs like George and Chase are likely trying to do the same thing, let's just say it won't be all that easy for him to establish himself as a wide receiver one moving forward. But anyways, what do you guys think? Is Deontay one of the best young wide receivers in football, or has he just been getting lucky? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Deontay yeah. Johnson has quickly proven himself as one of the best wideouts in the AFC, and so it seems like the sky's the limit for his potential production. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what's next. Yes, Johnson. Johnson bumped into his own man, bounces away. Johnson reversing field. Johnson at the 10. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below with stuff you want next. But anyway, see you all soon, and peace out.